All right, I was up at 5.30. Went to sleep at around 11.30 last night, feeling stressed out. Um, and I was sick actually for a week, so I truly believe that, you know, when you're physically sick, it's not just <clears throat> physical, it's also, you know, emotional and mental, because I had some emotional and mental stress as well. Uh, that's normal, we all get that, right? So now, you know, I got some work done, motivated myself, um, some inspiration, and now I'm gonna make some brekkie smoothie time. I'm in the freezer because you always have fruits in there that you can use. So before they turn, I always use this. And I thought I was out, but I looked at the freezer and I have some more. And I'll throw them there. And I'm just going to add some fresh mango in there. That one isn't frozen. That's some fresh mango in there. The freezer nut. Some protein, some supplements. Ta-da! Banana, mango, and papaya. This is with some supplements. Getting gas right now, and if you can see him over there. But basically, we have gas pump boys here. They pump gas for you. It's pretty um, weird. I know I grew up with this, but still find it weird <laughs> that you got someone to pump gas for you. In fact, you think it's convenient, but it's not because it takes them forever to do it. You can't tap, you know, your credit card with the go. You just tap and go. Nope, none of that here. And I'm not complaining about them, that they're slow. I'm just saying the system here is slow. It's not, they're, they're nice people. It's gonna be, especially if you wanna go out and it's hot. It's hot. All right, so yeah, I was just, had my morning smoothie, now I'm heading to the gym. Um, but I wanna talk to you about motivation and accountability and, you know, stuff that you're fighting. We all are, right? Yeah, talking about, you know, not liking yourself, going hard on yourself, you're pretty hard because of all these things, like I am too, the past week, you know, it's been four months since I moved back from uh, Canada and I'm feeling it. I love it there, I love it here too, but you know, there are things that you look forward to that it's not here and vice versa. And as they say, it, this goes with fitness as well, you know, you feel that you, you don't look as good as X, Y, Z on Instagram, and it's really frustrating, and that's normal. Um, we compare, but sometimes comparison is, you know, it's not really good for you, <clears throat> right? You are uniquely you, so you should be working on that, um, and you're just judging people from the outside, especially if it's Instagram or social media, right? Um, so what I say to that is, and I'm guilty of that myself, I'll never talk about something that I don't try to fix or experience anyway. Just keep that in mind in terms of health and fitness. So, talking about comparison, you shouldn't compare someone um, to yourself, especially if you have, you have a different build, you have a different lifestyle. That's a big thing. That's why I like to talk about lifestyle. You need to change your lifestyle um, and suit it and customize it based on what you need personally. I like this saying: the grass is greener on the other side, but that's not the end. The end to that is but it looks greener only because of distance. Once you get closer, because you're the neighbor, right? So once you get closer, you see all the worms, the divots, um, dirt, up close. But when you're on the other side of the fence, the grass definitely looks greener. So that's one thing I'd like you to take from this and understand it does look nice from the outside, but you're only comparing the outside. You're And you're not comparing their insides. You're comparing your inside and your outside you, you know your life inside out, right? But you don't know their life inside out. You only know their life as they show it. So try not to compare. And don't get me wrong, I do that as well. We like to highlight the good things in our lives, right? And, you know, humble brag, whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> but that's one thing I like about social media. When, you know, you don't talk a smack about people or your life. I hope so. That's why Instagram, you can't really do that. Um, but you can't really rant online. 
um, and nobody wants to listen to that. So, you know, obviously we're gonna show and put our best foot forward. But. So, I'm just getting my warm ups here at the tennis court. It's bright and early. It's, uh, well, I started at 6.30, 6.48, so this Manila sun is gonna hurt like a biatch. But I just wanted to be about in the sun first. Get a quick cardio workout here because it's nice and peaceful. Just me, myself, and I. So, I'll show you a few other exercises you can do. To warm up. You can join me sometime. for me in the outdoors because 7 a.m. and it's getting real hot so I'm gonna head back in the gym and do my workout it's done with a warm-up So I just finished my workout and I feel amazing. Um, feel much better, despite not feeling, you know, having the energy to really work out. Um, but you know, it's good to get the blood flow going and those happy, happy chemicals, you know, flowing like the runner's high that you get because you get those natural endorphins after your workout. So if you're feeling down, tired, um, you could even just stretch, but you need to exercise to feel better. So till next time guys, 
hope this video helped. And let me know if you have any questions with health and fitness. Peace.